I'm always impressed how good of a shot you are, Xion. What do you mean? Just that all I'm good for is throwing myself at things with all my might. By comparison, your way is more... How do I put it? Precise. It's not like I'm that good of a... <sighs> Look, that's just how it is with guns. If you miss, it's a wasted bullet you can't get back. Is that why you're always aiming to exploit enemies' weak spots? I wouldn't say every shot is that deliberate, but that is part of it. For example, if I see a flying enemy, I'll often go for their wings. Also, if I see a jumping enemy without wings, I know they're an easy target because they can't get out of the way while in the air. In your case, I bet it's easier for you to deal with enemies that stay on the ground, right? Definitely. Things that can fly circles around me are a real pain to deal with. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It's important to keep your enemies' movements in check. True. Yeah. Although your shots have the added benefit of stunning enemies, so it's easier to swipe materials from them. It's really helped out. It's nothing, really. As long as you keep doing your part when we fight, I'd say we're even. What is this place, anyway? What's with these columns and steps? No idea. I've never been here before, either. Rena's convoy squads probably used it in the past. I guess. It's definitely seen better days. You wouldn't know anything, would you, Xion? Nope. And I'm not interested in learning, either. <sighs> Actually, these are Danon ruins. See? You can tell by the way the columns are decorated and stuff. They're all old Danon designs. Are you saying these things were built more than 300 years ago, then? Yeah. I have no idea what they were used for, though. It's amazing to think our ancestors were capable of making such structures. Hopefully there'll come a time when us Danans will be able to walk through here freely again. That's exactly what you're fighting for, isn't it? Let's keep moving. Yeah. Right. So this is Cislodia. How far is it to the capital? We've still got a ways to go. Also, the Zugals here are different than those in Calaglia, so be careful. Got it. Sounds like we should make sure we stick close together as we keep moving. Agreed. Uh, hey, Xion! It'll be hard for me to use my rifle in a pinch if we're all bunched together. I'll follow behind the rest of you. Right. Makes sense. What's up with her? She seems even more upfront than back in Calaglia. In case you forgot, we're in enemy territory now. If you don't get serious and focus on the task at hand, you'll be inviting trouble. <laughs> don't take it personally. I think that's just the way she is. Plus, you have to remember, with those thorns of hers, she's probably not used to anybody being all that friendly to her. The fact that you can't feel pain means you probably end up getting closer to her than she's used to. You really think so? We're talking about someone who came down to Dana all by herself. But you don't see her homesick for Lenigus at all, do you? No. That alone speaks volumes about how difficult her whole situation must be. Yeah. It's your job as her partner to understand that, and give her the support she needs. You two are going to be stuck together for a while, so the sooner you make nice, the better. Make nice? Yep. Now come on. I get that they're not exactly on the best of terms, but... Is everything going to be okay with these people? you 
all on. No escape. Flames. Here I go. Crush. I'm only getting Crush. Here it flames. Try this. Don't let them form a pack. Here's the uh -huh. arc. First aid. Here I come. Uh -huh. you don't go charging off like that. Not half bad. Could you try to be less patronizing? I didn't mean nothing by it. Let me know if you're struggling. I noticed the Zoogles here are a lot different from what we're used to back in Calaglia. It's because this realm is so cold. I imagine they had to be adapted to fit the climate. Meaning if we hit them with fire arts, it should be extra effective against them. I don't pick on the weak. Ignite! If it's in the sky, it's Here mine! It it's over! I'll run you through! Destruction! Try this! There. Inferno me. turret! Searing flame! Reload! You're mine! I'm out! You're finished! Ah. Not coming! Take Here, let me help! Uh. First aid. Did you just heal me? Yes. I need Here you, come. remember? Right. Swallow blade! Here. Here's a healing arc! Storm. I'm sure I can put this to use. Another notch in the old belt. Keep them coming. 
You like that taste of freedom, kid? <laughs> I think I could get used to it. Would you like to warm up some? Aren't there people in there? You should let yourself unwind when you get the chance. I guess there's no arguing with that. Hey. Mm-hmm. Shion? Rinwell, don't go too far ahead. You never know where Zoogles might be lurking. Oh, we'll be fine. We've been able to handle them up until now. Still, better that you hang back a bit. No way! I'm the one who asked you to come here in the first place, remember? Yeah, but if we lose you, we won't know where to go. Besides, it's old guys like me who should be sticking their necks out first. But... We need you in order to get in contact with the Resistance in Cislodia. So stick close until we find them, okay? Okay. Thanks. Now you've got me wondering. How'd you make it to Calaglia in the first place? I find it hard to imagine you didn't run into Zoogles along the way. <sighs> Are you good at hiding or something? Uh, yeah, that's it. I'm just really good at staying out of sight. Wow. Still, you had to have been pretty lucky to have made it the whole way unscathed. Lucky indeed.
this thing Good. Houses in a place like this. People really live all the way out here? The whole area is just little villages. This one's Messia 224. Wait, I hear something. Sounds like people arguing. Bureau agents. The Snake Eyes must be here. We should sneak past them. That was my original plan, since you all stick out so much. Why? In case one of your people tattles on us? It's the Renans who are making us do it. Oh yeah? Like this Renan who you need to save your people's skin? Oh, that's rich coming from the Bright Eyes whose people are the reason we're in this mess in the that's first enough. place. But she started it! Three centuries of resentment is too much to lay at a single person's feet. Same goes for you, Xion. You can't ignore the past when speaking of the present. Now, what's going on in that village? If I were to guess, someone tipped off the Snake Eyes and they're here to make an arrest. You'd better not be about to suggest we get involved. I'm here for the Lord's head, and nothing more. That go for you too, Alfin? Why did you come? Why? To liberate this realm's slaves, of course. Are you still a slave? Me? No. Then tell me what it means to live unshackled. I'll tell you what it means. It means living on your own terms. Being your own master. Thinking and making decisions for yourself. And being prepared to accept the consequences. Understand? Yeah. Yeah. I think so. Good. So prove it to me. Shion. Don't start with me. I'm not going, and that's that. I understand. Just wait here with Rinwell till we get back, okay? You're going in without the sword? It looks to be that way. This is my choice, after all. Your choice? Ugh, listen to yourself. That sword's useless to me without someone to use it. You go dying on me out there, and you'll put our whole mission in jeopardy. But I need us all to make it safely to Sisloden. Too many sacrifices have already been made. We came here to put a stop to any more. You've... You've sacrificed something too, huh? Hide somewhere until it's over. You hear me? Damn those Renans. I hate seeing Danon suffering under them here too. I'm surprised you're so angry about it. You're not even from here. It doesn't matter where I'm from. Enough is enough with these people.
Silence, embedded. Anyone who fails to cooperate will be arrested and tried as a traitor to the realm. <sighs> Damn it. Some rat must have sold us out again. You there! You want me to haul you up on suspicion of civil disobedience? But, but I didn't! Ah! What? Leave him alone! <sighs> An embedded dares defy the orders of his lordship! Know your place, slave! We can't use the Blazing Sword this close to the villagers. They could get hurt. But there are too many agents. Zephyr? Law? Is that you? <laughs> What's going on? Aren't we supposed to be fighting them? You're alive. What are you doing here? <laughs> the realm of Cislodia doesn't tolerate civil dissidents like you. Law. I hereby detain you in the name of his lordship! Zephyr? Hell? Zephyr! Here they come! Zephyr! Here's a healing arc! Slash! Here I come! I'm going in! Here it is! Trying to get caught? I'm sure that can be arranged. Not if I can help it. Roll away. Destruction. Here, throw a blade. Blade sight. Eat that. Lock it down. It's over. What's going on, Zephyr? Why won't you fight him? Is that soldier someone you know? Don't hurt him. Huh? What are you- Please. It won't work, you know. My son. Oh, so now you remember me. The nerve of you. I'm gonna wipe that damn look off your face once and for all! What in hell? Enemy reinforcements. Use the sword. I can't. The villagers will get caught in the blast. We need to fall back. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> Suffer! Go. Leave without me. You can't. I'm not leaving without him. Alfin, there's no time. But what about the resistance? Everyone's counting on you. Forgive me. <laughs> We 
We've waited all night, but nobody's shown up. No sign of Zephyr or an enemy pursuit. So, what's the plan now? You really need to ask? We go rescue Zephyr. If he's under arrest, they'll have taken him to Sisloden, the capital city. Assuming he's still alive, that is. I can't believe Zephyr never told us he had a son. I wonder if the rest of the Crimson Crows knew about it. And to find him in that village of all places. Some coincidence, huh? Those fireworks you pulled out of your hat back there. They were astral arts, weren't they? Shion, what the hell are you Except doing? Except I've never heard of a Danon who can cast astral arts. Are you a Renan? Like hell I am! No, of course not. Renan's eyes light up when they use astral arts. And when you used an art, your eyes definitely didn't. So I guess that means you can't be a so-called bright eyes after all. Sorry. You're right. Those were astral arts I used. Same as the ones wielded by the Renans. A long time ago, my family, my people, were once known as mages. A Danon mage? Up until now, I'd only ever heard of them in stories and rumors. Though now I've seen one with my own eyes, I suppose I'll have to believe it. We've been in hiding for a long, long time. Even before the Renans first attacked. That's why no one knew about us. Even before the Renans? Yeah. My ancestors were persecuted and targeted for their gifts. But it was by their fellow Danans. They lived hidden away all these centuries, keeping their existence secret even from the Resistance. My mom and dad drilled it into me that I was never, under any circumstances, supposed to let anyone find out about us. If that's the case, then why did you use your powers back there? I don't know. One second I saw Zephyr about to be killed, and the next I was... Danon Astral Arts. If the Renans knew such a threat existed, there'd be hell to pay. Hey! What? You think I'm gonna go to the Lords with this information? I'm a traitor and an outcast at this point. Or did you forget? What amazes me is how anyone could have that kind of power and yet keep it hidden all this time. Didn't you ever want to use it to help your people? Don't talk like you know the first thing about me, Renan! That's enough. Zephyr wouldn't want this. Listen, all I care about is taking out the Lords, okay? Which is no doubt what her people want too. Using her powers to help do it only makes sense. Makes sense for who? Us? Besides, Zephyr comes first. We can't just abandon him. It's fine. Huh? You're going to save Zephyr, right? If so, you're going to need my powers to do it. I don't want anyone else to die. Are you sure? Then let's get back to the village. We need to find out what happened. What's wrong? Nothing, just... I'm surprised how dark out it is. Why wouldn't it be? It's still night after all. No, that's what's weird. A lot of time's passed since we arrived in Cislodia. You'd figure the sun would have come up by now. Oh, right. It's not like this back in Calaglia, is it? 
To be honest, I completely forgot. Uh, basically, it's always night in this realm. Huh? It's been that way forever. It never gets any brighter outside, even in the morning. So it's always dark all day long? But how? How is that even possible? Did the Renans cause this? Of course they did! It's complicated to explain, though. It'd be easier to just get to Sisloden so you can see what's going on for yourself. I'll take your word for it. But right now, finding Zephyr comes first. I wonder how Zephyr's doing. If that law guy is his son, it shouldn't be rough with him. I want to believe that, but those two didn't look like they're exist. That they're on good terms. Actually, now I'm curious. Can Danans enlist in the Snake Eyes too? Definitely. They're useful for surveillance here. Doesn't win you many friends on either side, though. So why is Zephyr's kid working for the Renans, then? Out of our way! You're mine! Wait, you can't help me! Destruction! Steel. I'm ready! Slut! Copy, save you! Swallow blade! Steal it! Uh -huh. These ones There's can run rings fire. around us! Here's your healing arm! Uh -huh. Damn it! I know you are! Sleep more! Take it! You're this one's mine! You're mine! Here is mine! Let's keep our eyes on the prize. It's eerily quiet. No sign of Zephyr. You think they took him away already? What say we quit hiding and go ask some villagers? Someone's bound to report us no matter what we do. So, we might as well. Hey, Shion! What? You heard her. She's got a point. Our cover was blown last night. Where's the sense in sneaking around? And what if there are soldiers lurking about? They would have followed us to the cabin already. Relax, the coast is clear. Let's hurry and speak to the villagers. Is she always like that? 
I don't know how you managed to put up with her. What makes you think I'm managing? Let's try talking to the villagers. Messia 224? Now that's a weird name. Messia is basically a code. It indicates it's a small village. So it's not its actual name? Then does that mean that two... Two four is... Yeah. yeah. It's merely a serial number assigned to it for administrative purposes. So the realms even get to decide what places are called out in this realm. Woohoo! 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 We've spotted one of Hoodle's friends. You're the friends of that man the Bureau agents took away. Please, leave us alone. We don't want any trouble. <laughs> Answer our questions and we'll leave you in peace. Where did the agents take our friend? Si... Sisloden. The capital. That's what they said. I knew it. What did we what? ever do to deserve this? We haven't even crossed the street without looking first. Why are they Shh. after us? Come on, we're wasting time. You'll need to hurry if you want to get your friend back. Not a single person who's been taken to Sisloden has ever returned. Hey, keep quiet! You're trying to get us all killed! How the hell with that! Go on, report me! See if I care! I thought this Sisladin was a city. Is it a prison camp? It's the realm's capital. Though when you're forbidden to move freely like we are, there isn't much difference. My parents and siblings were taken by the Snake Eyes. I haven't heard from any of them since. For all I know, they're long dead by now. Anyway, go! And kill as many snake eyes as you can for me while you're there! All right. To Sisloden it is. I wonder if something happened. You see anybody around here who could use our help? We can't chase after every little thing. Someone in trouble here. Well, let's see what they have to say. People are really terrified of the Snake Eyes. They've got them jumping at their own shadows. They may be Lord Danabelt's lackeys, but for all intents and purposes, it's the Snake Eyes who control the realm. One wrong look, and your history. So Zephyr's being moved to Sisloden. Let's cross our fingers we catch up with them on the way. I mean, the plan was always for me to take you guys to Sisloden anyway. But a word of advice. Oh? There's a forest we have to pass through on our way there. I won't lie to you. It'll be dangerous. More Zoogles? Wild ones at that. They hunt in packs led by the biggest, meanest one. My friends and I got cornered by one on our way to Calaglia. That's how we got split up. We'll just have to keep our wits about us then.
The forest we're about to walk through is pretty dangerous. Let's make sure we're prepared before we go further. Rinwell, if you get injured... Just let Xion know, okay? I only have one pair of hands, you know. <sighs> Xion, could we talk a moment? And here I was, thinking I could get some rest. Is something the matter? The matter? No, no, nothing like that. Then if it's all the same to you... I'll be going to sleep, thanks. Is chatting with me really that much of a drag? I just don't get the point, that's all. Is there some pressing reason why we have to talk right now? I don't know, I just... I think we should all make an effort to get to know one another. What if there's an emergency? An emergency? What if one of us suddenly got sick? Then I'd cure them with my healing arts and we'd move on. That's easy for you to say. But for the person doing the asking, it may not be so easy to approach you. If they can't work up the courage to approach me, that's their problem. Unless you're suggesting I refuse to heal someone for the fun of it. I didn't say that. So what then? Quit beating around the bush and just tell me. Look, what I'm trying to say is... If we're going to be traveling together, it makes more sense to do it as companions, rather than being at each other's throats the whole time. I still don't get it. <sighs> but I do understand that whatever it is, it obviously must mean a lot to you. I'm not trying to make things more difficult for you just for the sake of it. So, I'll make more of an effort to talk every now and then, even when we don't have to. Happy? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. Then if you don't mind, I'm going to get some sleep. Have a good night. <laughs> Didn't get it, huh? I think it's time we go to sleep. How long do you plan on just sitting around doing nothing, Alfin? Because it looks to me like you're taking your sweet time getting ready. I'm not procrastinating, if that's what you're implying. Oh? Sure looks like it to me. You had me worried you'd forgotten our mission. Again. I know, I know. You don't need to keep reminding me. Hey, Alfin. I'm already over here. R right Thanks for letting me know. I saw you talking with that Bright Eyes before Lights Out last night. Mind telling me what you two discussed? Nothing in particular. I just figured that maybe she would open up a little if I tried talking to her. What? <laughs> her? She's a Renin. I know we're working with her, but that doesn't mean we have to play nice with her. Look, we're all going to be traveling together for a while. It's only going to make things harder if we're at each other's throats. If all we do is bark orders at each other instead of working together, that's not much different than how it is for the rest of us. I think it's important that we all understand each other and work together as equals, if it's at all possible. Do we, though? <sighs> because I sure don't get the feeling she means to do the same. <sighs> as soon as Zephyr disappears, all hell breaks loose. We can't get anything done if things stay tense like this. But <sighs> what the hell am I supposed to do? Hmm. Well, I guess I'll just have to keep hammering away at them, and see how it goes.
on, guys. We've got lots to do. Didn't we find a recipe that... Yeah, we can use this for it. So this is the forest teeming with Zoogles you warned us about. No sign of Zephyr, though. Which means either they had the skills to make it through safely, or were too late and the strays got to them first. Do you say every thought out loud? Just the true ones. Are we moving or what? Don't worry, Hoodle. It's okay. I can barely see enough to take two steps forward without bumping into something. All of creation across the heavens stems from the six essences. We lack only darkness while they are without light. Thus, to achieve perfection... What are you muttering over there? I was practicing a magic incantation. An incantation? Is it anything like the spells that people use today? Not quite. It takes time for me to finish my chants, so I'm practicing saying them quickly and accurately. You know, just in case. I've always tried my best never to use magic if I can avoid it up until now. You said you and your family used to live in hiding, right? Because you were a mage. Where did all the other mages go? <gasps> Sorry, I didn't realize it was such a sensitive topic. It's okay. What's this thing? Hi, Hoodle! Here I come! Both Here I come! Right it's over! Here I go! Blade. It's over! Land array! I'm all stopped up! Land array! It's over! Photon flat! Here I come! Here I go! Reload! Land array! Dance in the wind! This could be useful. Ooh, it's freezing. I can barely feel my toes. Let's find a way back up quickly then.
going that way. That's what I like to hear. I could easily see us getting lost here while we're trying to find Zephyr. I... Get this is supposed to connect the capital to the villages. Why has it got to be so winding? And not only that, why are there so many Zoogles walking around? I think they're used as lookouts. The Renans know how to control them. I won't forgive you! Here I come! Dance in the wind! You're finished! Here I come! Damn I'll take you all off! Air Art expert coming through! Damn it, You're mine! Ignite! This is it! Raging Cascade! Here I come! It's over! Why'd you hear me? To stop you dying? Ah, right. Together, that wasn't even a problem. We have no choice. Let me know if you need healing. Don't mind if I do. Come one, come all. Reload. Both flash. Raging Cascade. I'll fix you up. Here's a healing arm. Take it. First aid. It's over. Flash. Don't try this. Raging Cascade. We've turned the tables on him. There are still more left. Right. No time to hold back. You're finished. There. Got you. Take it. Watch the blade! Mega Ray! Now! More You're mine! I'm ready! It's over! Mega Ray! Watch the blade! Go get it! Let's do it! No complaints from me!
Let's keep our eyes on the prize. My magic. You want to keep it a secret, right? Yeah. Sorry. A little late for that after what happened in the village, don't you think? Ugh. Easy, Shion. It's just... Hmm? I didn't want Zephyr to die. That's why I used it. I know. And we might have lost him without your help. So thank you, Rinwell. Sure. Company, and not the nice kind either. Rimwell, get back! And miss all the action? Who do you take me for? Out of our way! It's a big target at least. Don't un underestimate its speed. Photon, look at it! Damn it! I never these little ones are hardly Go worth it. Go for the weak point! Oh, you want? I'll get the one. Whoa! Hey! 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 Hey!
will come in handy. Destruction! This ends now! Here, let's Lord, go help! Ass I owe you one! Uh -huh. Inferno Taurus! You're mine! Dance in the 
You okay, Rinwell? I I'm fine. I'm not. I'm not. Did all of this? Look at the evil. that guy do you think he could have been the lord we're looking for Ganabelt? i doubt a lord would deign to roam around a place like this alone besides what business would a renin have with killing zoogles now that i look at it it was a good call staying out of his way i think look at this he took them out with a single slice this guy's no amateur <laughs> you okay uh, oh um, yeah. We should get going. Zephyr needs us. That knight back there sure wasn't messing around. If he's not a lord, what is he? I have no idea. I've never seen anybody like him. Well, he definitely doesn't seem to be a friend, that's for sure. Hopefully we... What's with those beams of light? They don't strike me as your everyday streetlights. They're kind of the key to this whole realm. You'll see what I mean when we get there. <sighs> What's on your mind? First, Rinwell appears out of nowhere, right after we beat Balsef. Then, we bump into Zephyr's son, who's with the enemy. Somehow, we get away scot-free because the Snake Eyes don't even bother chasing after us. Is it really a coincidence? You think it was a trap? W what But I would never... If not for the whole Astral Arts episode, I'd be worried. But no, she's not behind this. Perhaps an unwitting pawn in someone else's plan. <sighs> what? All this to capture Zephyr? Maybe. All I know is it all slots together a little too nicely for my liking. Not that dwelling on it'll get us anywhere. Trap or otherwise, we've got a lord to defeat. So how do we get inside? What? 
Well, we can't just march into the Viper's nest through the front door, surely. There's a secret passage near a spring on the outskirts of the city. We can get in through there. Oh, no. No. I hate camping out. No, I will see you guys on the next episode. Yeah,